I mean, a peanut, I'm gonna have a peanut butter and, and banana Chiquita banana sandwich when I get home. Stewart B. now a huge fan of Chiquita bananas after the crew of its ship, the Angeles, saved his life after his boat somehow took on water sometime overnight Saturday into Sunday. For a minute there, I was thinking, this, this, is, this is very bad. Yeah, it was worse than very bad. Stewart was 86 miles off the coast of Florida, clinging to the only piece of his capsized boat that wasn't underwater. He dove down a few times to try to get to his rescue beacon. He couldn't reach it, but that's when he saw the Angeles as a dot on the horizon. It seemed to be getting closer, and 30 minutes I realized it was coming this way towards me. And I took my shirt off, just waved that several times. When the ship blew its horn, Stewart knew he was saved. A Coast Guard plane had been looking for him. The Angeles found him first. He was a tiny spot in a huge ocean. We just rescued one person from a capsizing boat. The ship, its millions of bananas, and its newest passenger arrived in the port of Wilmington, Delaware late Tuesday. Stewart happy to be back on land, but he won't forget his time on Chiquita's ship. It was better than a cruise ship. Kept feeding me. I said, oh, I don't eat that much. The, the entire crew had this sense of joy that what, what they, had, they had found me. Stewart's niece is flying to Philly to get her uncle and bring him back to Florida. His plane ride will no doubt be better than the last ride on his boat. He knows how lucky he is to be alive and grateful to the attentive crew members who somehow spotted him and eventually pulled him to safety. It went from you know a major concern to, to suddenly a, a feeling of relief, calmness, you know, just relief. This is over. In Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News. Count on it. What a story, right?